Now, a tie a lot of large doubles at this time of year for Norway, and uh, there's a flyer tie, it's called the Gary Scott. It's a hair wing fly, this is it here. Now, in the main wing, as you can see, this the wing here, this is uh, a fiery brown goat that tapers out. Now, that's on the original. Now, on the, a variant of the fly, and all you have to do is almost change it to black. It's totally different, everything else is exactly the same. Uh, in this case, I've changed it to black. Both flies uh, work extremely well. And the colour combination, that you really you can't go far wrong with. And uh, they're certainly worth tying, uh, even in smaller sizes. I've got them in size. There you go. This is a 12, in the brown or the fiery brown colour. So, good pattern. Now, thread to start it off, I'm going to be using a uni thread in 8 in yellow. I just run the wax through it to get it started. The hook I'm using, these are large hooks. Uh, it's quite hard to get the larger hooks in. One of the uh, the company is two, fours and sixes and so this is a size sixes loop so certainly worth having if you want the, the larger size now you start the thread off then get yourself, in this case this is a an oval gold tinsel it can be a medium or a small I'm just going to catch this in the way down I'm going to take the thread down just, just, just by say if you let the thread go it's by the point of the hook then you're looking round about 45 turns down. Then what you do is you bring the oval tinsel between the hooks and underneath. And then just make sure everything's nice and tight. And then we catch this in. Now this is going to be the rib as well, so what I like to do is take it about say a quarter of the way up and then drop it back, tie underneath. There we are. Now for the tail, it can be really a lot, a lot of fibres you could use for the tail. Uh, like flora fibres is a good one, something like that, or pizzly hair, or polar bear, or it's not so much polar bear, but arctic fox, or you really, whatever hair you like. I like a stiffer hair, buck tail would be, be ideal for underneath, just to help hold the wing up. Now you're looking for a length, the tail length, I usually just slightly longer than the hook. Just catch this on the top. Two or three turns to catch it in, and then I trim away the excess away, not all the way back, but tapered so that I can taper towards the, the end of the body there. Um, now what I'm going to do is make sure this is secure, and then come back down, and the way back down we tie in a yellow floss, just a standard yellow floss, and then we take it right up against the tag and the tail. Come back up, as I say, a quarter of the way, and then we form the first part of our body to there. We can trim that away. Now, if there's a body hackle on this, but it's only the top half of the body. We take the thread up and we tie in a hot orange. Now, it's just a cock hackle. These are just a Chinese cock. Take one of the feathers out. Now, I'm going to tie it in an unusual way. So, the first thing I do is remove the fluff from the bottom. With the underside of the feather facing myself. Where I want it to start, I catch it on there. Basically sitting on the top. I'm just going to take the thread quickly down. Break that off and come back up to the, th to the hackle. Then I'm going to get some, you can have a gold light bright, or yellow light bright, or a mix. I've just a small mix here, the gold light bright, and a wee bit of seals fur blended through. For the dubbing, I'm just going to lightly dub that on. Now you're looking for like a, I mean the yellow is a warm yellow, like a, like a, like a golden olive, or something, anything like that. It works really well. Now as you can see I'm working my, working my way back down from the hackle. This makes it easier to tie in this hackle at this point. Take away the excess. Then we wind our hackle down. We do a turn at the top. One, two, we get into the third turn. Then I use basically come up with the thread. So I'm holding the tip of the hackle here. Then I'm ribbing 
basically that part of the body with the thread drawn back the fibres. Make sure you've got a nice base of thread down. That's it, and then we can trim this away. Then we can bring the rib up through. Like a turn or two at the back, and then basically follow the thread all the way up. Cross your thread, and there we are. It's an easy way to tie in the hackle, especially if it's only going, say in this case, a couple of anything between halfway and two thirds or so of the way down. Now, what I'm going to do is get some Velcro and just brush out some of the dubbing. Just watch your thread. Draw it towards the back. There we go. Now what I'm going to do here is change the thread to black. This is Uni AO in black. Let's come down this point here. Trim that away. The under wing, I'm using a sunburst. You can use bucktail. Uh, squirrel, you should use what you like. Now you want the tip slightly longer, or just slightly by the orange, the end of the tail. Now catch this in, there's plenty of space to catch this on because I've got a front hackle to go in here. Now, if you want this to last that wee tad longer, especially if you're using a stiff here, just tie in a wee touch, a wee drop of super glue. Tight in, sorry, over that, and then this will make for the wing really tight. Make sure it's nice and low. Then we get some flash. Now I'm using crinkle flash in orange. Round, I would say three strands is fine. Use a crystal flash or whatever you like. Just going to lay these on the top, slightly longer than the yellow, or the sunburst. Two or three turns down, fold this back, then trim away this and keep that for your next fly. I normally moisten it and lay it at my desk. Let me quick look at your fly, see how it's sitting. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah, so you guess it's tapering out. Now, this is where you can either use the, the fiery brown, which is just basically lay on top. I look for a nice hair. If you're going to use this as the, the original, but I'm going to tie the black one, but just to give you an idea what it looks like. And then, as I say, I'm going to put on some black. And a nice tapered wing. This is just a nice goat. Again, you could use bucktail, whatever you have. And to taper out, tie on top, two or three turns to secure. So we've got plenty of room, we've got a hackle to go in the front here. And again, we'll like go, it's quite a stiff hair, it's not a hollow hair. We can retouch a super glue in there. And that'll make your fly last a tad longer, more robust. It's always good to run a, in this case I've got an old toothbrush here, I've trimmed the fibres down. Make them a wee bit stiffer. And then I can brush this through and mix it. Yeah, I've got a nice blue hackle for the front. This is just a Chinese. Now, I'm just using some of the larger hackles up. Uh, quite soft, these, uh, some of the Chinese. You could use a hen hackle, it's up to yourself. Now, I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So, reveal the tip. Draw the fibres back. Now, the front of the hackle is facing myself. Two or three turns down, fold it back. Bring your thread up again, and then we can trim away the tip. Just use the tip of my scissors here to fold. Come down to one side, which is the which is the leading edge. This as a wind that will help the hackle to sit back. And then you want nice straight turns. Now this size of fly, don't be shy. It's a big fly. Obviously, in the smaller sizes, you reduce that. So we quite look at see what it's like. If you're happy, then you can come up ninth degree bend into the hackle. Good two or three turns. Now you can see where I've got it in. 
Now I've just caught the stem, I've not caught any of these fibres here. I've pulled them away so that I can get the thread turned right in there. Makes for it much neater and less bulky head if you do that. A bit of wax on the thread again and then just tidy the head area up. Now I've got, this is Silver Fox. Now it's, it's dyed, it's actually dyed yellow and uh, it's, a, it's a body hair. Now I just need a wee, just a wee drop of this. Just looking for a good mix of guard here, you don't need a lot. This helps taper it back. It adds a wee tad of colour as well, suits the flight. So we take it away, what we don't need, as I say, you don't need a lot. You're looking for this wing to be probably, I would say, the tips at the most towards the end of the orange, or the tail. Just tie this on the top. Quite simple. So soft hair. It's easy to tie in. Trim that away. We've got wax on the thread and we can wind this nice and tight. Make for a really nice tight head. Get my, in this case my toothbrush, blend this in together. You'll see how the colour mixes well. Really works well. Just moisten fingers here so we can see the taper in the fly. I've got two jungle cock eyes, looking at the length I want. You tie them in at both at the same time, just draw back what you don't need. Just take them in, put them on the sides, look from the top down. And then we can get a good three or four turns in there. At this point we can see how the jungle cock's sitting. Now if you're happy, which I am, I'm going to carry one down and fold these back. Tuck them back so that they, again they're not going to get pulled out. They're going to have to be broken off if the if you tuck them back, they'll last far longer. And then I usually just break away the waist ends. Always keep the thread tight when you do it that way. Nice flip finish. Your thread. We quick look, see how things are sitting. That looks okay. Now I'm going to highlight the head with some. Uh, this is a Glow Bright number no. five floss. I'm just going to highlight the top part of the head. Just catch it on like we would do a thread. It's just a fine floss. Try away the waist. Get it to sit right. Nice and bright, that's fine. And a flat finish. A couple of turns is all we need. Trim. Now for speed, what I like to do, this is the Fully Mill Super Glue with a brush. Just to coat the, the head with this, but don't touch the materials. Just take your time if you can. Take your vice like I'm doing. You can apply it all the way around. Now, allow that to dry. Now it does dry within five minutes or so, and then we can coat it with varnish. And that there's the, the black winged version of the Gary Scott. As I say, the only difference is we've used fiery brown in the original and black. I mean, this colour combination, you, you really can't go wrong. It's got a lovely taper and warmth in it. Uh, a good blend of colour. And as I say, when we're talking, that's probably getting there to be dry. And it's, all you have got to do is get some clear varnish. Again, I'm applying it with the brush. Just take the vice, if you can. And there we are. Once that's dry, you can get another coat on it and you'll have a nice, bright, shiny head. And there, that's your, the black wing version of the Gary Scott.